Hi, this is Walford Kaufman bringing you another devotion. I'm in the sanctuary with our trusted little church step ladder. Well, I know some say that's just a step stool, but for some it, it is a ladder because it's got a third step. So you think about it, but how many people are fearful of taking that even that first step? And then to take that second step and then to start getting a little wobbly and, and dare not take that third step. Even though it's there, they come back down. But let me tell you something that might scare you even more. But it was something to see. Our sanctuary just got uh, remodeled the other year. And so the pews were being refinished. And so they were gone. We were getting new carpet in. And they hadn't come in yet. So the painters were in here painting all this, uh, this beautiful building. And I, uh, I walked in. And one of the painters started over there at that end. And uh, he was on one of these very tall, tall A-frames. I, I should have got something like that for you to see how tall it was, but it had been too big for me to carry anyway. But he was on that, and he was painting some, and, and he got finished that spot. Instead of coming back down and moving the ladder, he just kind of turned on that ladder, braced himself, and he twisted that ladder and walked that ladder down until he could start painting again. When he got through with that spot, he moved that ladder just by twisting his body and making that ladder walk. It was unbelievable. But I'm thinking, how in the world could he do something like that? You know, there's people that are scared to get up on one step of a, of a step stool. And here was a man doing that. But I found out how he could do it, step by step. He didn't come in that first day of work and just jump on a ladder and start doing that. He had to learn that process. A step higher, building his confidence. Another step higher, building his confidence to the point he could do that walking a ladder down this floor. Unbelievable. But folks, what about you and your spiritual climb? We could say spiritual walk, spiritual climb, but you know what I'm talking about? Doing things for the Lord. So many of us are scared to do one little thing for the Lord. It gets scary. People might say something. It gets frightening. And so we back off. When God wants us to do great things for Him. So are we building our confidence? Are we taking those steps that are needed? Philippians 1 verse 6 shares some words that we need to find in our hearts and lives today. Be confident of this, that He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. So be confident, not in your ability but in the Lord's ability. For we began a good work in you when you invited Jesus into your life. There you began a good work, and He is there, and He is able to carry you on to completion. Are you ready for that? Is it time for us to move from just that first little step? Do we take a, need to take another step? Do we need to be growing in the Lord? Be confident in not you but in the Lord. Trust in Him. And when you say, I can't do it, what you're really saying is, the Lord can't do it. And we know He can. So where's the problem? It's in our trust level. It's our trusting Him step by step. Building confidence in Him, not us. And He's going to do a great work in you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, forgive us when we want to stay where we started. We don't want to do those things because we're scared. Lord, let us realize people are going to say things. People are going to do things. People are going to make fun. That's okay. They're not the ones that saved us. It's you, Lord. Let us be trusting in you completely. Let our confidence level grow more than ever before, but it takes another step. Today, Lord, let us do it. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, what is that step going to be? You know what it is. You already know what it is. That's the beautiful thing. And the Lord will give you confidence.